I wanted to come to you today um, because it was something that was um, really just kind of on my spirit this morning when I woke up. And I am the type where um, I'm pretty much led when to go into getting on hair. Um, but I woke up this morning and I woke up with like so much gratefulness. And the word I kept hearing this morning is stay grateful, stay grateful, stay grateful. And so I just wanted to get on here and I just wanted to encourage somebody and just say, stay grateful. Even though we may see what we see physically, but it's like, stay grateful. It doesn't have to be a thing of us fearing because you got to realize when you fear, fear only weakens your immune system. But when you can <clears throat> come out of a state of fear and then understand that you don't have anything to fear is just love. It's just love. Then what happens is, is that you come out of the state of fearfulness and you operate in the state of gratefulness. And so a lot of times when we operate out of fear, those are just our emotions. But when you can operate from a state of love, peace, joy, gratefulness, those are your intuitions. See, your emotion, your emotions are always going to be fluctuating up and down. Your emotions are always going to continue to make you feel different type, different types of way. You know what I'm saying? Your emotions don't bring you the peace and the calmness and the love that you need. But when you move out of that state of fear from your within your emotions and you move in a state of your um your higher vibrations you know um your gut intuitions you know whatever you may call it for yourself it's like you have to move into that state so a lot of where we at and a lot of what's going on now people are responding out of emotions not their intuitions not um their gut intuitions you know not their wisdom not the love the kindness the peace the joy so a lot of times when we go through these moments like this we don't really understand why and how but you kind of have to understand this that a lot of the things we see you it, it it's more so how do I want to word this? It's more so for us to understand that it's our test too. So I don't know where I'm flowing, going with this, but I'm going to just go with it. So a lot of the things that we're going through now, these are tests that we are being tested by to see how we're going to respond. Are you going to respond with fear? Or are you going to respond with love, peace, thankfulness in spite of everything else? So a lot of the times we are moving and operating from a place within us that we have not found peace at. We are moving and we are operating from a place that's not healed. And that's why... A lot of times we, we do things, but sometimes we don't have the thankfulness. It can be the smallest little thing. And, and these right here are the times where when you open your eyes, when you get to step out of bed, you know, when you get to tap into meditation, these are the times right here where these should be your most times where you're the most gratefulest. Because now you have the opportunity to really, really, really understand what being grateful is about. It's not so much about um, the material assets. It's what you carry internally. And that's why I say that whatever we carry internally within us, it's, all, it's just going to manifest to the outside. So if all you carry is fear and anxiety and worry in you, that's what will manifest to the outside in these times that we're in. 
But when you can operate from a place of peace, wholeness, calmness, love, joy, thankfulness, gratefulness, then that's who you are and that's what you carry internally. So I just encourage everyone to really allow this time to be the time to where you do the work that you need to do internally within yourself to really allow yourself to move out of those old vibrations and those old energies and really allow yourself to come into a place of peace, love, joy, gratefulness. Because when you tap into these right here, that's where you're in the highest vibration possible. So I encourage everybody to just stay grateful. Just over the smallest little things, stay thankful. I was thankful just to wake up and watch an inspirational video um infinite waters like i was thankful you know i was thankful to allow that to feed my spirit and to you know trigger something in me to say okay let's go you know let's do this you know what i'm saying so whatever you do find that place of gratefulness for yourself and within yourself and I promise you, when you can stay on a constant path of being grateful and being thankful for the smallest things, I promise you it's going to escalate to bigger and greater things. So I just wanted to encourage somebody, anybody to, no matter what it's looking like, no matter what it feels, no matter how it is, stay grateful. Do everything you have to do intentionally on purpose to stay in that place of thankfulness. For me, I always look up to the sky and I always say, thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine angels. That's my way of constantly staying in that flow, in that energy, in that vibration, in that um, alignment of gratefulness with God, the universe, and the divine angels. But that's also my way of staying in alignment within myself internally. So... Stay grateful. Stay in alignment within your own internal self. And know that everything is in divine order exactly the way it should be. Know that whatever you do, come from a place of love, peace, joy, happiness, gratefulness. And everything else outside of that, it won't even matter to you because internally you'll be so much in a state of higher vibration where you'll be able to see those things happening on the outside of you and it won't shake you. It won't move you, but it'll make you even the more grateful for where you are in your journey and where you're going now. I love you. I hope this encouraged somebody and you guys be blessed. Namaste.